Nigel Twiston Davis's yard is just a stone's throw away from Cheltenham, and with the festival looming fast, it's a pretty exciting time of year for the team. Jockey Sam Twiston Davis and also assistant trainer Carl Llewellyn. Carl, you're pretty laid back, but come the buzz of the first race on the first day, your heart's going by then. Yeah, um, probably our best chance is the first race on the first day. Um, we have other chances, but he's, he's our favourite. And so, um, you know, that will dictate how the week goes. If he wins, we're going to have a great week, whatever. Are you happy if you come out with one winner at the festival? Is any sort of jockey or trainer, is, is that the goal? Yes, it is. Um, you're, you're, you want as many as you can, but if you can get one, it's, it's, a, it's a great year. Um, if you don't get any, you always feel like you've missed out. Tell us about Al Dancer, because he was pretty impressive, wasn't he, on Saturday? Yeah, and what, what was more so impressive is that he still did a lot wrong. So you're looking forward to, obviously, can we get him jumping a little bit slicker? Can we get him to relax better? I think the scenario of Cheltenham will probably suit him a little bit better, because traditionally you do go a lot harder in a Supreme than you might in some of his early season start targets. So with a bit of luck, that'll help him relax, and hopefully we'll see what he truly can do. But you're pretty keen on him, aren't you? You like him as a horse. Your brother's <laughs> particularly sweet on him, Willie. Willie was on Saturday. Yeah, Willie doesn't hold his, um, his <laughs> opinions back. But I think it does help, obviously, um, how the aspects of the day had fallen and what time the race was. But um, no, look, look, he's a lovely horse. Um, Di has obviously been a big sport for us for years now. and He sent us some nice horses before, but to, to have a really smart one for Di, I know, know, know Nigel really does buzz off. So fingers crossed it can, can go smoothly. And Sam was just talking about there is jumping. You can probably try and tweak that. How do you do that at home between now and then? Well, we've we've got a school there with, with loads of poles and barrels and things that we can we work on. We work on them all the time anyway. Doing that with more experience, they get better. Um, yeah, the, the one thing is that hopefully at Cheltenham they'll, they'll go fast paced. And I think that the more he relaxes and the more he drops his head, then the better he'll jump. Um, so hopefully, yeah. Unless they go slow, which you wouldn't think so. Yeah. Uh, they have done sometimes in the past in that race, um, believe it or not. But um, the more he relaxes, the, be the better he'll jump and the better he'll run. He'll conserve his energy for coming up the hill. Um, he he's won there before and looked very impressive. Though. And he's got everything. He's a big, strong horse who travels very, very well. Um, he's got high cruising speed and he can pick up off it. So you know, he's got all the credentials. Mm. And you think there's more to come from him? Yeah, I mean, he's still relatively young and inexperienced, you know, so I think he, he can only improve. Sam Cheltenham is not too far away. Presumably, for that reason, it's it's even more special to you. Yeah, it's, it's just down the road. Obviously, we grew up around here and um, local school, local friends. So obviously, they all know about Cheltenham. And it's obviously from early days you were missing uh, lessons to try and listen to it on the on the on your phone. And even then, Willie would always be sick on certain days to try and watch the more fancied ones from the yard. So it's meant something to us for obviously a very long time. I think it's more so we're very lucky that I had success quite early there, so you didn't really appreciate it. And then it's when you don't ride a winner there for a couple of years, you actually you think like how special it is to go there with chances. And then if you can get a winner, you, you should really do enjoy it. And is there a really different feel in the weighing room from both of you, Carl? You've been in that situation many, many a time than a normal meeting. By a long way, the atmosphere is different. People are, um, are, are tense, you know, and they're excited and it's a great, um, they're nervous, but it's a good nervousness, you know. They're, um, they're just excited to be there and to be taking part and, and with a chance of having a winner. Um, we're lucky around here that because we're so close, all the hotels, bed and breakfast, houses have been rented out and there's a lot of people about who are very, very excited. You know, they, as you know, they come from plenty come from Ireland and you know, we have plenty of people turning up and um, loads of owners turn up because they're going for a day or two. Um, and so the build-up is, is really, really special. Sam, it's unbelievable to think that Carl has been here before you were born. Yeah, he's obviously, um, he's helped my, mine and Willie's careers a lot. Um, so obviously solid advice. He's known the horses well here. He's known should dad longer than, than me and Willie have been alive. So like, from the very early stage, he was helping point me and Willie in the right direction. And it, hopefully it's told. <laughs> I'm not sure you're the ideal role model in some ways, are well, you, Carl? But... Possibly not. No, but a lot of time they might learn from the, my mistakes. You think. <laughs> do, do Is the, that the theory? Do the opposite of what I've done. Not... <laughs> Not they don't copy me. <laughs> <laughs> but Sam, seriously, you know, with with the experience, the training experience he's had, the riding experience, the nationals, the winners at the festival, has that really helped? Oh, it was massive from, from a very early stage because um, we're lucky that me and Willie started off riding for Dad. But the biggest thing was just because he didn't have a vast experience of riding at those meetings. So, for example, my first time rode over the national fences and walked the course of Carl for the first Cheltenham ride. Um, in the commuter walk the course of cars. So it's just like all the small things, the advantages of that was that before they started putting jockey coaches out there. So 
I was lucky I had a jockey coach from day one, just luckily didn't have to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> and I bet he hold doesn't, doesn't hold back with the criticism either. Well, no, no he, he was actually he was brilliant because he'd, put, he'd try and get you to realise your own mistakes mm. without actually, as you know, in racing, like there's nobody's too fearful of lending out their opinion to you, but Carl would always phrase it in a way, he'd try and he'd ask you what you thought of the ride you'd just given one or the, your performance and he'd try and get you to notice your own mistakes without then necessarily like just standing there and reading the riot act. So it was always a good way of learning because you felt like you are assessing yourself and moving forward in the right directions as a team. With regards to Cheltenham, we've spoken about Al Dancer. What about Bristol DeMay in the Gold Cup? Is that the plan for him and then on to Aintree for the National? I imagine so. Yeah, I mean, he, he, people think he, he doesn't like Cheltenham, but he's run very well around. He's been placed uh, around Cheltenham you know, as a young horse. And a lot of people have gone about that, that he needs very soft ground. Well, um, he's actually run some great races on, on, on better ground. So um, we would like it softer. I think it would, because he handles it so well, that it would inconvenience some of the other horses. Mm. Um, so the so I think the softer it is, the more, more of a chance he's got. But he's still got a great chance. He's one of the top rated chases around. So, um, you know, you'd have to give him a chance. And what else are you looking forward to in some of the handicaps or the staying chases? You've got um, Cogri in, um, Bally Hill. Um, we've got bits and pieces in all the handicaps, Flying Angel, um, but as you know, Cheltenham is incredibly hard to win, so to go into the handicaps you need them and obviously yeah, loads of luck, you need them to be an absolute f flying fit, which luckily they, they all seem to be, but the biggest trouble is just how well handicapped they are and we're very lucky, we had a fantastic season last season, so some of those horses have been paying for it this year, and so they have been coming down slightly, so hopefully they'll come into those handicaps and slightly lower down the handicap and have a bit of luck. Carl, if you could come out of retirement and ride anything at the festival this year, with the best chance in your mind, what would it be? Oh, definitely our dancer, yeah. Of anything at the festival? Oh, oh I, th I thought you meant of our horses, sorry. Well, Bouvardet, I suppose, Champion Hurdle. Because <laughs> uh, that's worth a lot of money and that would... Um, he's, he's it's probably, not all about money. OK. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd say Bouvardet or, or maybe Alto or, you know. Um, but Bouvardet is racing worth more money, so I'd probably go for that. <laughs> Something's never changed. Sam, what about you? Has that element of him rubbed off on you? Well, it was from an early age, no secret. Um, Willie and I used to live with mum. Both of houses rented out and luckily a few flats as well. So um, maybe it did rub off from an early age. <laughs> not paying too much rent and the food is getting bought, luckily not by us as well. So. <laughs> it's definitely... He must have learned yeah, something. He's, he's, he's living with his mum for free, so he's, le he's learned something off me, so he's, he's doing well. Come on, Sam, if you could ride anything at the festival, what would it be? It's a little bit different one. I think um, I'd love to ride Native River in the, in the Gold Cup because he's put up some hella performances so far, maybe at the tracks that don't suit him so much. He's going there really fresh. They've skipped, obviously, the Denman chase because it was getting closer to Cheltenham and he looks like the one you'd, you'd love to be on in the Gold Cup. <laughs>